Msasa is an organization uh, that exists to fight gender-based violence against women and girls. <laughs> After having noticed that women and girls were marginalized where gender-based violence was concerned, Musasa was set up in 1988 to respond to that call. Over the years, we've really achieved a lot. Because as Musasa, we have arms like the direct services. We have advocacy department and we also have the shelters. Uh, my name is Prisca Ferretti. I'm the shelter administrator for Harare Shelter and it's one of the shelters among us, the 14 shelters that we, the 15 shelters that we have across the country. We admit women and girls who face uh, gender-based violence in all different various forms. We assist these clients in different uh, angles. For example, the medical care. We offer direct services for them to access medical services if they need any. We also assist them with the legal advice. We provide counseling on a daily basis. We also make sure that all the clients who come to the shelter are taught life skills for them to be able to lead a normal life if they leave uh, the shelter. Nini ndaka bati kwa nemu sasa kubiriki jane damu ziko remirisho nga mba. Tai ni tani nemura ndaru mwangu. Tai ti takari moku munda. Ndina chande kwa nsa kuwa. Sufunga mnongo gutika noti wa nevarumi. Waka bata mari, anita kukuka kuchinja kwa anita. Dewa ndiri mnongo ti, ndina ndenda kuta upinyo kuta kuriri tia nevana. Indi sinaisha ndono kwa nesa kuhiti. Asipangwa yewe ndaka bati wa nemu sasa, ndino utenda. Musasa waka ndi batira ni mari. Dobo watu zizi sasa kutama business ni ndi sana chanda kwa nsa kana kuit. Daita business rangu randa kafunga ndi dokuri, dogo tungu randa kapa mari e very kuri. Dobo darima business zangu, darima business zangu shoshwa zaka ndi bati la zaka ndi bata. Naga changa kufunga kuti. Peku gara chapa ndi na nafunga makango shitari samu rungu no mshauri. Asipangu wa yoyo ndaka una kuti shangu wa shukani sisi kundi buriti. Dobo nda mani ya shudi na shangu thirty thousand shamu rungu wana shere apesh. Dobo nda chenge sasa shim kuti ndi zowa na mari. Yekuti diwa ni kuwa kisa imbayacho, diwa ni kuwa no kujiga, diwa no zinu dibati ra, disna chanti no ita. Sheshwa ndi no matenda yemsasa, daga tanga kono opinyo angu wa kuchinge, daga tanga sasa dina shangu, daga vaka, diyo imbaya yamuru kuona. Through our advocacy efforts, Musasa was really a very influential in the a crafting of the Domestic Violence Act of 2007, which is a great landmark in the fight against gender-based violence. This uh, one-stop uh, center is the center that was established in 2014 as a response to women and girls who had to look for other services. After having come for counseling and uh, psychosocial support at Msasa, women uh, needed more than one service. They needed medical, they needed legal, they needed to go and, you know, to courts, to go and access other services. So as Msasa, we saw the plight of women. So we decided to have this under one roof. So we have a clinic which is here and we have a, a, a legal officer, a resident lawyer who is here. So that when the traumatized woman comes here, she, is, she gets all the services, she gets the psychosocial support, she gets the counseling that she needs and the basic medical and family planning services. She's able to access that all under one roof. This is to prevent secondary traumatization because we notice that as women moved from one service provider to the other, then they start telling their story. They go to the other, they start retelling their story. It was more traumatic for them to start and relive their painful experience. So having these services under one roof, it will relieve the pressure on the woman so that she comes here, she receives the services, and then she can go home. 
Uh, during the cyclone, I Musasa was very. It was one of the organizations, uh, the first ones, because uh, uh, when we heard about the cyclone, I I think it was the first or second week uh, that we managed to go there. We were some of the resp first responders to the cyclone. I uh, the women, the families were affected by cyclone die they were severely traumatized and they needed cycle, uh, counseling they needed first uh, aid services first aid counseling services so as musasa we went in we put up immediately put up mobile counseling services we immediately put up you know even static centers in uh, chimani mani and chipinge where we sent counselors there and our counselors would move from one area to the other giving psychosocial support to the uh, families that were affected by cyclone die. We are also working with the various stakeholders in child marriages. We are working with the other organizations like the ARC, Zimbabwe Lawyers for Human Rights. We are working also with the Zimbabwe Women Lawyers Association, with the Women in Law Society of, uh, of Zimbabwe. We are working with the like-minded organizations, Padare. We are working with ARC as well and many other organizations to ensure that our children are safe. Child marriages is a scourge in Zimbabwe, where uh, uh, for religious purposes, children are married off to people who are even older than their grandfathers and, or even their fathers. And uh, we've, we've, uh, we've gotten together, we've uh, fought together, and right now we are, find, we, we are fighting that we have, uh, uh, we, we robbed in parliamentarians so that we can end child ma uh, marriages because most of these children, they are raped because it is against their will. So we are fighting also for mandatory sentence, sentencing of all those who rape children, yes. We have an average of about 500 um, clients per month. But uh, during the COVID period, we discovered that during the first week of the COVID, uh, when the lockdown was announced, we had 592 cases of gender-based violence uh, which were coming through our call centre. So we quickly adjusted. We had only one line, a uh, toll-free line, which had four dedicated lines. So we quickly we said, what are we going to do now? Because obviously more women are going to need these services. So we had to increase our toll-free lines. Up to date now we have 10 dedicated lines and we also started uh, implemented a shuttle service because some of the women didn't have enough transport. Remember that time the, the combis were not moving and women couldn't move around. So we introduced a shuttle service where we could go and pick up a woman who is in danger and then we could also bring them to our shelters.